Well, I just got done watching the directors and producer commentary of the Blair Witch, and I love it. I love the I love commentaries. You always learn so much more about the movies that you didn't know. So, um, I'm gonna go over through a few things. Try not to make this a full ten minute video, but um, apparently when they get to the car scene and they're getting right, they're get they're getting out of the car and they're starting to make their walk. They actually went the wrong way, but the shot turned out great because you see the last glimpse of the car, and that's the last time you see it, so it definitely worked out perfect. There was actually a point, too, where they just went off track a little bit for almost like an hour, so the producers and directors had to, like, basically guide them which way they're supposed to go and the the, the directors and the, and the producers stayed hidden because they didn't want a lot of interaction with them they kind of wanted to do their own thing so this is pretty much this whole movie was like ad lib was just basically them just like coming off like all of a sudden conversation wise and I think that's fantastic. That's a that's an awesome way how to do a movie. Do it something like that where you just like just come up with lines just like that and keep going because some of the shots are very long. They basically got drops from the director and the producer, a little like canister and milk carton where they have a subject and be like, okay, this is kind of like what's going on today. And there was actually one point where they actually missed one of the drops so the director's producer's like oh well they've already moved on to the next thing and they were just kind of wondering if they made it through the drop to know what's going on um they got little food i think they got a power bar um i think they got an apple at one point and some water and one point it rained so hard for 24 hours 24 hours that their tent was soaking wet their um sleeping bags were soaking wet so they just filmed the scene the director's producer would took them to a hotel for the night because it was just the rain was so bad and they next day they you know even though it was clear and stuff they had to continue with them wearing the rain jacket and stuff and everything and this is see where it's very dark but you see i think michael not wearing the the rain jacket but um they had to add in like rain effects since um the rain ended um the point where the tension is just great the tension of them uh heather actually bit the crap out of michael like really hard so that reaction of him like holding his hand because heather bit him was just like <laughs> a true reaction like just his hand hurting um it's funny that michael actually they did biographies for each character and i guess michael end up putting that he was a player for the New York Yankees in the farm system. So anytime during when they did press or they would just ask him about his his playing career in the farm system for the Yankees. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, the reaction to Heather finding the package which had josh's uh teeth in it that was totally totally a, a, a reaction her actually being freaked out about it and apparently i guess she threw it away and um the directors had to come to her and be like hey no you have to open up this package uh, so make sure you do and uh when uh, they were in the tent one time, where they were in the one time where the kids, where you could hear the little kids like playing by the tent. Uh, one of the producers, I think, actually the film, I think it was the film, film design, or not film design, sound designer actually uh, recorded the neighbor, his neighbor's kids 
playing in the front yard, so they used that. And um, they uh, originally were they're going to take Michael, uh, but they end up taking Josh. This, 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 this how J Michael and Heather is. They wanted that reaction more than just Heather and Josh. So they were the directors and producers were up on the top of a hill and when Josh was screaming out and they could see like the flashlight way down from the hill of like uh, Michael and, and Heather kind of like searching through the woods and screaming out Josh's name. So that was the last time uh, Josh filmed. So he was done. That was the last scene of him just like crying out and uh, they actually recorded some more the other night. I think he cried out too. So they just recorded his um voice and uh he was pretty much done and uh josh or michael's reaction to finding the house was was definitely a true reaction and um when michael went down to the basement they had the producer and the director all dressed in black and grabbed michael and just put him and said just stand in the corner don't do anything and then did the same thing with uh, Heather and apparently going back to earlier in the movie I guess supposedly the camera that you see Josh using at the beginning of the movie it actually broke and Josh was like told the producers one time they were like yeah we broke the camera and they were just like what do you mean the camera broke and they were like oh the lens fell off so they basically salvaged it and they end up selling that camera I guess on eBay for ten thousand dollars that that broken camera that Josh well it wasn't broke for you know beginning of the movie but at that point when Josh was rolling down the hill and he's like I'll be by this tree with this like lib the camera broke there um but uh yeah it's it's just it's like this is really cool to hear the commentary for a certain movie that you really like or you, you learn all kind of new things about it and they just said they they gave him a little food and every they filmed the movie in six days and uh you know everyone was tired and felt uneasy and just was just like you know that's the re real reactions when they're just out in the middle of nowhere and um you know they're tired they're hungry hungry they want to just go to bed and sleep in their bed and stuff so uh but yeah but yeah it was definitely it's definitely a really cool um commentary so anyway i am heading to bed more likely i am beat i had to work five to midnight tonight today tonight today tonight today <laughs> But anyway, um, I hope we hope I'm hoping all you people on TikTok uh, stay safe, take care, and I will talk to you soon.